Functions can be increasing, decreasing, or constant over different intervals on your graph. Relative minimas and maxima are those points where the function begins to change direction. The relative minima is the lowest point on the graph before the function begins to change direction. The relative maxima is the highest point on the graph before the function begins to change direction. If we look at the function f of x equals 3x squared minus x cubed, which is graphed to the left, we can see that the function is beginning decreasing negative infinity because we know that this arrow tells that the graph goes on forever in both directions. So I can say that my function is decreasing from negative infinity up to zero. And then at zero, I can see the graph changes direction. It begins to increase. The y values start to go up. So I can say that my graph is increasing from zero till it looks like two is where the graph begins to start changing direction again. And then the graph begins to decrease at that point from two to infinity. So when I look for relative minimas and maxima, I'll look at the minimum first. Relative minima is the point, the low point, down here, at zero. And I can say that f of zero in that function equals zero. And likewise, the relative maxima is this point here where the graph is the highest point before it begins to decrease again, at two. And I can say that f of two equals my corresponding y value, four.